integral inverse tangent of square root of x. Let's just integrate this right away with integration by parts. I'm just going to differentiate and integrate. Differentiate this instead, right? Instead of looking at this as integration. Now see what happens. And integrate 1. Differentiating this right here, we get 1 over, and we get a 1 plus square root of x, and then we square that. And don't forget the chain rule, multiply by the derivative of that, which is 1 over 2 square root of x. And then integrate this, we get x. So, first part of the answer, we get x times inverse tangent of square root of x. Then, next, we multiply these two things together and still result of integration. Still put that in the integration. Minus, we have the 1 half, so let's put on minus 1 half. Check this out. This times that is just square root of x. So we have square root of x on the top over this and that cancel, so 1 plus x and then dx. So that's what we have. Now the question is how to integrate this. Well, I will just do a u sub real quick. So perhaps I will do the u sub right here. Let u equal square root of x. And we can see x is u square, dx is 2u du. All right, so this integral wise, we get the integral on the top is u over 1 plus x is u squared, and then we get 2u du. Yeah? So the 2 can be coming to the front, and then we have u squared. So this right here, it's the same as integral u squared over 1 plus u squared in the u world. And then do the usual business, we add 1 minus 1. I think that should be enough work for us to see. Ladies and gentlemen, we get x times inverse tangent of square root of x. This 2 and that 2 cancel. Minus, all right, and then we get this over that is 1. Integrating 1 in the u world, we get u. u is square root of x. Then we have a minus, minus here. But another minus here, so it becomes a plus. 1 over u squared is going to give us inter it's going to give us inverse tangent of u. And u is square root of x. So that's that. Done. Yeah, fitting three integrals in one question.